back to my YouTube channel. In the following video, this video I'm going to show you on uh, from 4 chapter 5 physics called light. Now, in this chapter, there isn't much to learn, but there are quite a lot of uh, understanding. Reading of text and reference is a key to answer all the questions in from uh, this chapter. It's rather straightforward. Let me get started off with the concept of light. Now, in light from 4, what you do now is I'll give you an example. You make an analogy to the sun. Oh, this is the sun you have. And what I'm going to tell you actually is actually uh, light, you may regard light as a particle. Because in form 5 later, light could behave as a wave. Now, we, we, we don't talk about that light as wave in this chapter. In this chapter, we solely focus light as a particle. So, say uh, this is where we have our earth, where the distance the distance between the earth and the sun at the surface, I mean from the sun to the surface of the earth is a constant number. You may check it out yourself. I mean depends on how you calculate it. The distance I'll give it at one point five times ten power eleven meter. Eleven meter. So this is our earth our sun okay so what happened the sun ray travel let's say a particle travel from here to here I mean a sun a particle from here to here and we know that the uh, constant the speed of light huh? the speed of light constant uh, so we like uh, C small c represents is a common uh, constant is uh, 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second meaning in one second the speed of light travel at this distance in one second and you know the distance is so much then you may actually calculate how long does it take for this particle to travel from the Sun to the earth and this is the path of travel we call sun ray. Okay, by the calculation of uh, classical mechanics, we have what velocity or speed. Speed is actually distance over time. So if you were to convert that, you want to calculate the time. So you bring it up, bring it down. So the time it's distance by the speed, and you put those number in distance into here. And the speed into here, and you do some calculation in your calculator. Instead of second, convert it to mi minute. The time for a sun ray to travel from the sun uh, to the earth it's somewhere about six and a half minutes. After you convert second to minute, okay, divide by sixty. So that's why Albert Einstein says we are living in the past. So it's quite true because the sunlight that we see from the sun is actually six and a half second ago, emitted from the sun. So the the, the concept for light, you may ex, I mean you may regard it as a particle to travel from one to another, meaning a small particle travel to one another. Okay. So in this chapter. What you will learn later on would be they have two concepts. The first one, the simple con I mean the simple concept is called reflection. Law of reflection. Reflection meaning reflect. What does it mean by reflection? Okay, you, you need to really go through the text, look for the keywords. Put it into a simple um, term. I mean, I'm going to draw a diagram. This is 
is a mirror. This is a mirror. In the this is the boundary mirror between the air and the glass. Okay. So uh, this is a glass mirror. This is the air. Okay. The line separating them is called boundary. Boundary is actually a region where to separate the air with the glass. Huh? Huh? So what happened now is. When my light source, or you call incident ray, come at an angle, angle always measure from normal. Normal is an imaginary line. This line do not exist. This line is only you know it. This line is perpendicular to the boundary or to the interface, 90 degree. That's why I call normal line. Normal means 90 degree, perpendicular. Normal line. There are some terms for you to understand. Incoming called incident. You need to learn this because it's called incident. That's why it's incident. Incident ray. Incoming. Incident ray. Incoming ray. With an angle. This angle is called incident angle. Symbol theta i. Small i. Incident ray. Now. When light were reflected on a piece of glass, the angle reflected will be the same as the incident ray. I mean the reflected ray. This is called reflected ray. Would have the same angle as with the incident ray. So the theta normal line the angle always measure from the normal line okay normal line it's not from the boundary but from the normal always the case reflection or refraction later on okay so the incident ray the angle of incident ray must be the same as with the reflected ray so that's the law for reflection let me put it some some law of it the law is first the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal line they are over the same plane all three the same plane. I mean the same side, uh, same plane. This plane uh, over this side, uh, over the air, uh, same plane. And then this is the first law. Second law, the angle. Okay, the angle of incident same as with the angle of reflection. Normally, it comes up in objective. Take note of it. You may need to go get those exercise chapter by chapter exercise and go through this chapter look for a reflection and you'll be able to answer their question okay talk about anger what's the anger sometimes most of the time they will give you the anger over here all you should do is you use 90 degree subtract this anger then you get the incident anger then from there you're able to calculate the reflection anger it's like mathematics this I mean this part okay so um, this is called boundary. This is a uh, air to glass boundary. Then the instant and the refraction will be the same. So without further ado, let's uh, proceed to the next rule. It's called you have reflection here. The next one is quite the same spelling, called refraction. R e f r a c. Refraction. Okay, the spelling is a different of between the L, I um, mean L E and uh, R A. Okay, refract F R A. Refraction. So, what is reflection? For simple understanding, reflection is when a light 
ray enter into the gas boundary and then it bends, it slow down it slow down the uh, it slow down of the motion of light what happened, let me show you quite often you see, let's say you have a straw inserted onto a, onto a glass cup what happened, you see on the side what happened the straw inside the glass you will see is bent right I'll try to uh, get you an image of that so here again incident incoming called incident incident ray and uh, you have a normal line this is the anger of incident sorry it's instead of R we call okay what happened incident ray come here what happened the reflected ray huh? what happened the reflected ray will be slowed down because now it will slow down meaning the angle here will be smaller here it's called a reflected, it's also an R, but now it's refracted. Okay? This is the incident. So this is also called a uh, uh, reflected ray. FRAC, refracted ray. Okay? Where reflection study house the light bends towards the normal line this is a normal line okay so what are the law from what you have seen here the incident ray the reflected ray the incident ray reflected ray they are on the opposite side where you have a boundary. I mean, this is a boundary. Where I have the incident.
because in air, light is a particle, you may regard it as particle, it travels very fast. As compared to in glass, the structure of the glass is more compact. What happens now is that right when the light ray enters into glass, what happens is slow it down. The structure in the glass slows down the movement of the light. Therefore, it bends towards the normal, meaning it slows it down. Meaning, when it's closer to the normal line, meaning it is slower. So, what happens because of this nature, you'll be able to calculate, okay, what is the reflective index of a glass. Okay, in next video, I'm going to show you that. Stay tuned to my next video.